Welcome back to the Zeldaphon. We're here on day 5 for Ocarina of Time 3D Master Quest. Now we've raised about $2200 so far for Child's Play which is amazing but we want to raise a hell of a lot more before the marathon ends on the 25th. So let's do this. A reminder that you can donate by clicking the donation banner below the stream window, uh, clicking the button on the pitching widget, entering the amount you wish to donate and then finalizing stuff on PayPal. All proceeds will go directly to Child's Play and to their Child's Play PayPal account. Bit redundant but whatever. Uh, we had a $25 donation literally before the stream started and I put that out there as an incentive uh, f for people to get to name Link and uh, Giant Dawn actually donated so we are going to call Link bought for this run. Alright and we are well aware that there is a Ocarina of Time 3D playthrough going on in the channel so in response we're doing Master Quest so that it's not quite the exact same yeah. also a reminder for those donating today that there are donation incentives for this game specifically if we raise a hundred dollars today we will do the mask trading sequence and if we raise two hundred dollars today Tom will get the big Goron sword and use it to stab Ganon in the face hells yeah let's begin <sighs> What's the original on this, uh, mate? Would you say about 10 hours or so? I hope less, but yeah, 10 sounds about safe. Mm. Oh, okay, I know you were just like anxious there to get into explaining every little bit of this game, so I won't uh, interrupt you now, go ahead. Original Master Quest was released on the GameCube. It was put on a CD with the other original Ocarina Time. The only thing that they switched for this is that they mirrored it, and you get double damaged, and you do half damage. Wonderful. It's hard mode, essentially, so <laughs> good luck, Tom! Oh, I'm gonna need it. I have actually completed this on stream before, but it was pretty tricky. Mostly what I'll need you for, mate, is uh, the FAQs and whatnot. Yeah. I was only here for, like, the first three dungeons of that first Master Quest playthrough, so... I'm gonna enjoy watching you actually go through the Master Quest Adult Dungeons. Why you do this? Because you did it to me during A Link to the Past, so it's only fair. <laughs> this is true, this is true. Yes, Tom, why are you not doing a three heart run? How much do we have to donate to get you to do a three heart run? <laughs> a million dollars. Tom, why don't you care about the children and do a three heart run? <laughs> oh god, tears streaming down my face for the rest of the marathon. <laughs> Okay, uh, you all know the story of Ocarina of Time. I'm not going to leave text on screen for too long because I kind of want to finish this because I uh, am also running Majora's Mask tomorrow. Plus, no one says anything remotely interesting. If they're going to tell you something important about an item, they just give you the item. If they're going to tell you something about a quest, they're going to like show you the place on the screen. Don't mm. worry. No one says... The only line in this entire game that's really worth anything is like, Come, small boy, come into my mouth. What? The tree. The tree tells the small boy to come in his mouth. <laughs> okay, moving swiftly on. Mm -hmm. uh, Deku tree text while you know go faster. <laughs> Tasty Pan says, if I donate $50, can Tom do his, and I'm putting words in his mouth here, terrible Mickey Mouse impression on stream? Um, yeah, sure, why the hell not? Yeah, if you do do that that donation, if you could please, if you can, leave a comment saying, "Hey, this is the guy in chat. This is my donation for the Mickey Mouse impression." And yeah, we'll do that. Mm -hmm. How do you do that again, Mike? After you do your donation, at the end there should be a link or some text that says, "Leave note to seller." Mm -hmm. Click on that, and it's after your donation. So don't like do your donation and rush to the end. It's after you finalize your donation. There's the send message to seller. Click that, and just tell us whatever you want. Awesome. And also, if you don't have an actual PayPal account, that is just fine. Credit cards work, but honestly, the easiest thing is just make a PayPal account. It's very easy. You can honestly put the credit card on that link your bank account whatever remember this is for the children and giving money on the internet is not all that difficult <laughs> uh this is not going to be a 100 percent run no but i will be going out of my way to get stuff like bottles and so on all three of them because that fourth one is just a pain in the ass i know right mm -hmm. that could be a donate donation incentive actually 250 let's just do these up in increments of hundreds and fifties mm-hmm 
I mean, we could just... It is pretty easy if you know the locations of the pose, but you gotta go out of your way, so... Yeah! That sounds fun! And once again, the name of the game is For the Children. Yes, that is a word. Mm -hmm. A lot of the commentary in this will mostly be casual, because we're kind of rerunning old ground here. Rerunning old ground multiple times. Remember, we've done... And we've already been here in an Ocarina of Time playthrough. We've already been here for a previous Master Quest stream playthrough. And now we're here again. And I'm already burnt out of Zelda because I've gone through like two games of talking about crap. Mm -hmm. Looking for Rupees. Eh? Very good. There's like five everywhere. There's one behind a house. You get one across the blocks. One across the bridge. And one if you magically backflip after you've crawled out of the hole. Mm -hmm. It's invisible, and it floats in the air. Now, uh, Mexi is a speedrunner, so I apologize if I don't go super de for faster. I don't care, it's mirrored and it's Master Quest, no one cares about speedrunning Master Quest. <laughs> yeah. Because you got to take muscle memory into account as well. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, you would think that just mirroring it, it's like, oh, it's just mirrored, who really cares? But no, it throws you off way more than you anticipate. Why does no one do speedruns of Master Quest? Because a lot of the tricks required to beat the dungeons are stupider, more complicated, and require more setup. When there's like no real like benefit to it. It's like, why would you want to do these harder, more obnoxious tricks? Just go speedrun the original. There you go. Mm -hmm. it's breaking rocks right now. Talk about what type of Pokemon the various Zelda enemies would be. Uh... I don't know, I guess Octorox could be Spinarax. Well, Octorox would be Octillerys, wouldn't it? Yeah, that too. Yeah. I was thinking Tech Tex. Yeah, Octorox would be Octillerys, Tech Tex would be like some sort of Spinarak thing. Deku Babas would be Bell Sprouts. Uh Goma would be an Ariados. Hmm. Good point. Yes, the Dongos would be Okay, I'm trying to think of like a four legged dragon type we got. Eh, let's do Drud again. It's not actually four-legged, but it looks more, you know, rotund dragon-esque. Mm -hmm. Baronade would be Tentacruel. Phantom Ganon would be uh, Hauntedge, mm -hmm. that that Gen 6 sword. Hex, yeah. Uh, Volvagia would be Dragonair. If Dragonair was Fire-type, but just imagine Red Dragonair, <laughs> and it works out. Morpha would be... Be ooh wow! There's like no amoeba type Pokemon. Oh no 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 no! Uh, Solosis. Okay. Yeah, Bongo Bongo would be. That's a tough one. Yeah, there's not like real musically inclined. Ludicolo, yeah, Ludicolo works. Both got rhythm. They got that mad sick rhythm. Oh, Maxi. Uh huh. Twinrova. Gardevoir. I don't know. That works. I uh, No, not Ranunculus, because Ranunculus has like lots of different pieces. Solosis is literally like a ball in jelly, which that's what Morpha is. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. I already did that, and you don't really bomb them here. You just like throw them in the mouth like that Cyclops in the CDI game. Mm -hmm. Seriously, it's crazy watching those cutscenes. It's like, wait, wait, wait. They honestly reused that idea in a later Zelda game? What? You would think they would just scrap everything that they possibly did in that game. Time to rob Mido, because honestly, Mido's a bit of a dick. I still honestly don't get how the hell he got a town named after him in Zelda 2. Mm -hmm. Probably not the same guy. Uh. It probably is, because there's no other Mido. I mean, all the other towns in Zelda 2 are named after the Sages, so the names are there, and this is the only Mido in the game, so. He's a dick, and he got a town named after him. Way to go, broski. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Don't need a tutorial. But, but, h how will you know how to play the game? Oh god, this uh, mirrored world is throwing me off so hard. Mm -hmm. Well, we've answered this question several times, but I guess it's fair to answer one more time. NBM and Tom, what is your favorite Zelda game? Uh, that would be Majora's Mask and Link's Awakening. Link to the Past in Majora's Mask. 
There's a Mino in FF3. Well, it's a good thing that that is a Mino in a Final Fantasy game, not a Zelda game. Plus, it's a D, not a T. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah you, can grum you can grumble all you like, Mido. <laughs> Uh, someone says, I'm going to assume we're going to pretend the Zelda CDI games don't exist for the Zelda thought. Well, you would assume correctly making an ass out of you and me. We did the Zelda CDI games just yesterday. It was great fun. Mm -hmm. Uh, Drazer got some really good runs on them, actually. Oh, yeah, and I say great fun because I got to watch someone else do them and I had absolutely nothing to do with them. So, oh, fun for everybody. Mm -hmm. Oh, forgot to skip the text. All that mashing. Oh, yeah, here's something that I actually kind of just recently learned. Uh, they did this with the 3D version, but all text boxes have a magic frame that if you hit A during it, you skip the whole text box. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of weird. When you play original Legend of Zelda, I mean, you can only mash so fast, it's not really going to make the text go any faster. If you want to run 3D, you really have to constantly mash on every text box to hopefully get that magic fast skip text frame. <sighs> okay, here we go. You'll uh, be seeing how the dungeons have changed the second we go inside this large tree's mouth. It's already started. It's already too late to run away. Apparently the donation page doesn't load. Yeah, I've been having issues accessing Witchin myself. P pitchin, mate. Pitchin? They say, what did I say? You said Witchin. Witchin, witch it. Okay. <laughs> Motherfucking bat. You see, he does a whole heart of damage, which luckily I get bad. Ouch. Alright, got some donations to read off from Jaguar Master Melton. Considering what I hear this version of Master Quest does, all I have to say is good luck, time to forward ahead for the children. Mm -hmm. um, I shall do my best. Thank you. And uh, we have a. That donation was for $7. Cool, cool. Alright, we have a one cent donation from PM Bort Allman. I have some faith in you guys. Treat me well. Lol, just kidding. I am loving the marathon so far, and I hope the next games are great as well. P.S. I am Gamer Dude Bort in the chat. Okay, well. Shout out to Gamer Dude Bort. <laughs> For the children. No. No, 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 no. We're trying to help the children, not put them in dire situations that might cause them to drown. I'm up here. Just getting my bearings. Are we going to do the entire game in one go? Yes, that has kind of been the, the, the deal with this entire marathon, is we've been going through the entire game in one sittings. Mm -hmm. one, er, in one sitting, unless you were playing multiple games, then you were doing multiple games in one sitting, mm -hmm. as is the case with the CDI games and with the Oracle games coming up. Yep. Did someone say Master Quest? I sure hope they did, because we're playing it. Yeah. Yeah. Navi. 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 Come on. <laughs> uh, that web text, that door text, that everything text. Like, I'm playing <laughs> Master Quest. The only way I can actually play this game is if I beat the game. Thank you, Navi. I totally needed to know all these things. If you uh, destroy a Goma egg before it hatches, you will have to fight the... Uh go my hatchling inside. Yep. Uh, those are actually in the original too. There's one room where there's three hanging above, but I think it's at the... S no, they, there's, they still got an egg phase. But the babies, the larvae themselves are not that all that difficult, but once again, Master Quest is double dungeon, so even if they get like one little poke hit on you, that's way too much, especially this early in the game. Mm -hmm. Why is the Master Quest version mirrored? I honestly think it was just for a cheap way to differentiate. Like, honestly, if they could have kept it unmirrored, and it still would have been, hey, that's really cool. We get Master Quest, but I, I guess they were trying really, really hard to say, like, oh man, it's a new Master Quest. When no, no, it's not. Mm Will there be a marathon to help raise money for Drazer Psychiatric Therapy? <laughs> that is actually our next marathon plan! 
What is the average game time for Ocarina of Time? You don't want to know, but our estimate is 10 hours. Mm. Okay. Have you guys played the 3DS version? This is the 3DS version. You can tell because Link doesn't look like doo doo. Yep. Uh, question for myself Are you excited for Link Between Worlds? Yes, and actually playing a link to the past made me a little bit more interested in a link between worlds, but not to the point where I'm gonna be like, oh, please link to me every new news. It's more just, eh, it went from I might buy it to sure, I'll buy it. Like that that was the increase in my interest. Mm -hmm. Is that Link holding a sword in his right hand? Yes, Link has broken away from the traditional left-handed stance and is now holding a sword with the right hand. Okay, cool, we have the slingshot. Nice, nice. <laughs> yes, the uh, Restore sanity a thought will include games such as Banjo-Tooie 100% and Sonic 06. How could you? <laughs> I've already said it, it's on the air, we can't deny it now. <laughs> you motherfucker. Is oh, and the... uh, strong language for all. Uh, yeah, pl please avert your poor virgin ears. No one likes a cry baby, yeah. Is it worth buying the 3DS version? Yes, uh, honestly, even if you've played the N64 version just to get, you know, a very sexy looking version that includes Master Quest, it's very nice. <laughs> Why no days? Well, now that you've mentioned it, I think we can squeeze days into that marathon. Oh man, this this new marathon plenty is easy. You said this was difficult, Tom. Please, plenty of marathon, so easy. I will end you. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, yes, the 3DS version does have a lot more streamlining, mostly in inventory and menuing, not so much in like the actual game layout. But it's a step in the right direction. This and Wind Waker HD are definitely showing that Nintendo has gotten over themselves. And they're like, you know what? Maybe we should just stop with the constant menuing. It's probably not that great of an idea. Uh, remember that you can carry a lit torch through this door. Gotcha. Nice news. I'll go, I'll go in there to clear out the room first. Coolio. Is the Deku stick still OP? Yes! However, the crouch stab is not OP still. Uh, if you remember, in original Ocarina of Time, they forgot to program a damage value on the crouch stab, so it stores whatever damage your previous attack did. So you could do a jump slash with the Deku Stick, which, and then your crouch stab would have that same power. But now they decided to actually give crouch stab a value, so it's just one. The same as a regular sword slash. The 3DS Water Temple is, uh, in huge air quotes, better, in that the Iron Boots are now a inventory item, not something you gotta constantly menu to equip, so that helps with the tediousness. The dungeon itself is exactly the same. Uh, the only aesthetic change is that there's little glow-in-the-dark lines all over the temple, but if you know how to read a map, you don't need them. Yeah. You've read as crotch stab? Well, crotch. Crouch, you're essentially hitting the same area. <laughs> it's all the same thing, really. <laughs> yes. Okay. No, Fa Phantom X, you're, you're not thinking big enough. You have to think. Imagine the boss rush mode in 3D, but it's Leech Grave, Ruler in the Sky, and Car Heartless. Oh my god, why doesn't Square Enix just hire me now? Please, I can make the best game ever. I think I accidentally my stick away well that's kind of obvious but still okay let's actually open this and not ignore it the darkling fight is exactly the same I mean, probably a little ai hitbox differences but honestly combat and the way you play the game is exactly the same like there's not some magical hidden room new items it's, it's the same game it's just that some mechanics were fixed, mm -hmm. but it, it's still the same Ocarina time, it, casually. There we go. 
I'm gonna have to like put that preface in. If I say the exact same, just imagine a little asterisk above my words. And then that asterisk signifies casually. Does anyone else think the 3DS version feels slower? It shouldn't because they actually upped the frame rate. It should feel a lot faster. Original Ocarina of Time moved at 20 frames per second. Unless you lived in Europe, then your Ocarina of Time moved at 15 frames per second. This runs at a very nice 30. So his animation looks smoother, so that could make it feel like it's going a bit slower, but it's just that everything is smoother. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh lordy. Spin attack. Is that a song of time block? Yes! There's a lot of stuff in this dungeon that you normally don't see until later dungeons in the original game. Coming up are fire keys. Yes, in the dungeon where the only possible shield you can have is the wooden base shield. The game knows how to troll you over. Hello, Mr. Keys. 30, 15 frames per second, the horror. Yes, because that was that little awkward phase Europe was going through where they're like, you know, we could totally up the quality of games by making them move at a lower frame rate. Genius! Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Not going near this room. Come on, I can see you there. Nintendo always trolls the fan base one way or another. But to be fair, one way or another, the fan base sometimes asks for it. Mm -hmm. See, there you go. When you turn that switch on, it will light the uh, torches and create fire keys. Alright, we got another donation. A $5 donation from Cat Magenta Williamson with a comment saying, Hey! Listen! You're doing a great job, guys. Keep it up. Thank you very much, Cat Magenta Navi. Thank you. Uh, how so? Uh, D Cortex, if you could rephrase your question, I don't know what you mean, how so? To what? Alright, uh, how do you guys feel about the Phantom Ganon fight in this? It is very good. I mean, it's sort of a repeat of the Aghanim fight, but it, the way that they translate into 3D with the Dead Man's Volley and the Bottle Easter Egg, it's, it's a really cool fight. Mm hmm Okay, this is a little off topic, but why are Diamond and Pearl so laggy? They're not laggy, it's just that everything moves slower. It's it's not actual lag, and it's completely fixed in Platinum, so if you want to play a, a Sinnoh game, just go play Platinum. Um, what else we got here? How does the Nintendo fanbase brings it upon themselves? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked that, usually because... Uh, I'm gonna listen to this cozy story of yesteryear known as E3 2012. So Skyward Sword had just come out like in December. And the big question at the end of E3 2012 was, where's the new Zelda game? It's like you guys just got it like six months ago. That's where it is. Well, last I, you know, last I checked, making games faster does not make them better. Maybe if Skyward Sword wasn't underwhelming, they wouldn't be asking for a new one. I guess, but still, objectively, good or bad, you guys did just get a Zelda game. True. And you were getting more. Okay. Do you remember the commercial for the original 64 Ocarina of Time? Yes, I think we brought it up in the playthrough with the, uh, Wilt Thou Get the Girl or Wilt Thou Fight Like One? Play Like One, mate. Play Like One? Mm-hmm. It would have been so much better if it was like, will you fight like one? That'd make, that'd make it way more sexist. Okay, the puzzle here, I believe, uh, you had to hit these uh, deco scrubs in the order 2, 3, 1, 23 is number 1. Uh, now you're going to have to do that backwards, so I believe that's 1, 3, 2. Yep. Yes, and then the, the inverse of the law is it true, making games slower also doesn't make them better. But just listen, guys. Games are like cake. If you take it out too soon, it's all gooey and icky on the inside. If you keep it in there for too long, it's all burnt, black, and crispy. You gotta wait, you gotta let it cook for the right amount of time. And then once it gets out, then you put delicious icing on it and stuff your face. <laughs> yeah, all you're your going stuff somewhere with this. <laughs> I'm going with the fact that video games are cake and I really want cake right now, damn it. Mm -hmm.
God forbid, tween girls on Tumblr got a hold of it. Social justice over video game commercials. Jesus. <laughs> do I think they'll ever do 3D of Majora's Mask? I sure hope so, but I mean, if they don't, I'm not gonna have my fanny cheeks twisted in a bunch. Uh, I I'll be sad for like a minute, and then I'll quickly get over it because I have other games to play. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they're still the original at the end of the day. But, you know, if they do, I'll, I'll be one happy penguin. Bye bye. Wow, oh, dude, that is a much, much better run! Bravo at top! Yeah, it, the last time I ran this, uh, I tried to do Mexi's trick of um, doing a jump slash with the uh, Deku stick and accidentally ran into Goma and died. <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem is that the stick does have an increased range, so you kind of want to be further back than you actually think, mm. but it's all good. What's sad is the next boss is actually much easier than this one. Oh, the second boss is the easiest <laughs> boss like in all existence, because the next boss isn't even a boss, it's a puzzle. It's like, mm. solve my mouth. Tom, are there any dungeons you're nervous about? All of them. Oh, we're already nervous about the one we just passed. The, the nervousness does not end ever. Yes, but you killed me. Good. <laughs> Good. Seriously, uh, Wanda, Ga uh, Wanda Gamelon has got to be the most female empowering game I've ever seen. That game just screams girl power. Mm -hmm. Like, I will wreck you and won't give a shit. Dark Fable. The, the, the fact that the donation link isn't currently working for you is not our fault, okay? Take it with pitching. Am I secretly dressed as Zelda? Yes! Uh, my Zelda cosplay dress is actually my favorite outfit. It makes me feel really pretty. Right. Mm hmm. Thank you for being understanding, Darth Fable. Uh, now, remember, sorry, I'm crunching on cheese a bit, sir. Uh, we have donation incentives. Uh, $100 will get you in the mass trade sequence. Uh, I believe it's $200. Did Correct, I... $200. $200 will get you the big gone sword uh, trading sequence, and obviously the sword itself. Um, and I believe 300 Yeah, 300 300 will get you the last bottle, which is all the pose on Hyrule Field. So if you want to see Tom do more difficult things in an already difficult game, get your wallets out and show Tom who's boss. The spoiler is, is that you're actually the boss. Make him suffer. <laughs> uh, does the 3D effect add anything to this game? Um, I'd say it adds about as much as it does to any other game where, you know, where it works, it works. It's nice. Um, I think the one point I was like, oh, hey, this is this is pleasant, was when you have a uh, cuckoo and you're falling, flying, and the feathers are 3D. It's like, oh, that's very nice. I, I, I liked it. It doesn't add to like, oh, man, this game, it, this just made the game on a whole new level, but it, it worked and it was nice. Mm-hmm. Should we say uh, $400 for the uh, training grounds? Ooh, yes. That that sounds awesome. Am I a pretty princess like Drazer? Drazer ain't got shit on me, dude. Drazer needs to step his game up. Don't forget to play Kasha, because that might be what's uh, <coughs> holding Pitchin away from you. How much for me to cosplay a Zelda at a convention? 10,000! 10,000! <laughs> 10, I like to keep my donations reasonable. <laughs> we can make that a bidding war. It's like, if you if you have an opinion on who's the prettier princess, me or Drazer, feel free to leave that in your comment with your donation. Just leave in your comment, I vote for MBM for prettiest princess, or I vote for not as pretty Drazer as prettiest princess. I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> All for the children, Tom. Mm -hmm. Now, the next dungeon might give me a little bit of trouble, because that's originally where I got stuck in Master Quest. Uh, but that was the one on the GameCube collector's disc. This one is a little bit trickier. Yep. 
show and do fan art. Do it, and I'll love you forever. Which Zelda game has your favorite art style? I'll answer first with Wind Waker. Wind Waker's pretty good. Uh, Majora's Mask is decent because it's a uh, darkly colored game overall, but there's lots of color put in, and not just like garishly put in, like anywhere really. It's uh, very well used. Mm -hmm. They added a lot more uh, purple. Mm. This is a this is one thing I always notice in games is when purple is used because it's very rare if ever used unless you're looking at the genesis like that's one thing i will always give the genesis credit is that back in the 16-bit era it used purple when nothing in the world used purple yeah. in its palette um we're getting requests to do the uh scholars. uh i'm gonna have to say 750 for that yeah that's a bit extreme mm-hmm so uh, just to reiterate, 100 for the mass trade sequence, 200 for Big Goron Sword, uh, 350, I believe, for the last bottle. Uh, no, 300 for last bottle, 450 for Ice Arrows. Gotcha. And you can donate by clicking the uh, banner below, hitting the button on the pitching widget, finalizing uh, stuff after entering an amount you wish to donate, of course, and uh, boom, there you go. If you want to leave a note for us to read out, uh, click leave note to seller. <laughs> And uh, another reminder is that while we do have individual game donations, we do have an overall marathon donation incentive that if we reach $5,000, it doesn't have to be today, it would be pleasant if we reach it today, but if at any point in the marathon we hit our $5,000 mark, the third CDI game, Zelda's Adventure, will be added to the end of the schedule. Mm -hmm. So if you want Drazer back on for more CDI goodness, we'll try and hit that goal. Uh, no, it's overall donations. So if you if we reach a hundred today, we'll do the mass trade sequence. Yeah, yeah. We we're keeping daily totals as well as overall marathon totals. Mm -hmm. Mask trade. Thank you, Dark Fable. Very much appreciated. Thank you very much. <laughs> Five thousand dollars will send Tracy to permanent insanity. Uh, what do we like about the 3D Ocarina of Time? The higher frame rate, the better models, the improved physics, the tweaked mechanics, uh, the faster text, and the higher resolution textures. Mm -hmm. So, just it's an overall update, like a very good, like they didn't go all out gaudy like oh man we're gonna give link a gun but it, it, it's very tasteful <laughs> it's very subtle and it it, it was much needed mm -hmm. why would people donate for sonic hell if i know <laughs> bought honestly what is bought from is it like a brain scratch comms running joke I think it was one of Johnny's Let's Plays. I think it was his Zelda 2 had Bort as the name. Mm -hmm. um, another thing too, um, we're going to try and have more of these per game donation incentives. And if you feel the need be, if there's a game coming up later in the week that you, know, you really, really want Link in, say, Twilight Princess to be named Sally, you can donate for that. <laughs> you can leave that in your comments. However, if someone else donates more and wants Link and Twilight Princess to be named Sanic, Link and Twilight Princess could very well be named Sanic. So, that's another thing to consider to donate. Will Majora's Mask be a full mask run? Majora's Mask will be all masks. That is not 100%, but we will be getting all the masks. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Them well timed rolls. Yep. It's what an HD remix should look like. Ah, yeah, I, I mean, it's still the same resolution. The only time Ocarina of Time has ever had a resolution increase was on the GameCube release where they upped it from 240 to 360. And of course, the GameCube version is pretty much the virtual console, so that's also 360. But this, because the 3DS's native uh, resolution is 240, it's not really an HD remake. It's just a very, very nice upped remake. Yes. <laughs> 